I can feel my body breathing I can feel my heart is moving fast I am not afraid or lonely So much, right? I love you but too. it seems to me, for a bit like, yeah. you might be one for everyone but me. Will you play for us tonight? I don't have it on the set list tonight, and the only reason why is because I have um, a song called Caught Out in the Rain from Bang Bang. It's very similar, and I thought I wanted to give something that's more updated. Mm -hmm. But um, I did play on my one three times in I the know, States. I know, I never happened to be there. I know, and I <laughs> haven't done it in years. But yeah, not tonight, not tonight, unless I get a hair up my butt and we pull it out. Milan, Milan, in a couple of weeks. So. In Milan, in a, are you coming to Milan in a couple of weeks? Okay. <laughs> I think I, I know it's important in life to try and be positive and, and to keep a good, you know, the chin up and, and all that to show your gratitude and, and, and you know, and, and get the best out of life. But for me, um, when I can be open and honest about what's hurting me and scaring me, and then someone else can say, hey Beth, this is what's hurting me and this is what's scaring me, then I don't feel alone in my life and I feel like it's a beautiful connection, you know? And, um, I don't know, I guess some people are better at being happy than others, and God knows I want to be, but I just struggle with it, you know? So like when you um, <coughs> are so open to me about your stuff, if, if it's not that I'm glad that you're going through stuff, I'm just glad that you feel comfortable enough to talk to me about it. Because then you and I can connect and we don't feel alone with our shit in the world. You know what I mean? So it's like a blessing. So I appreciate when you do that. I love you too so much. <laughs> um, how long were you already making music before you got your big break? And what kept you going? I started writing music at four. Um, it was only classical style music with no singing. And then I didn't start singing um, where I started playing lyrics to music until I was like 12, 13. Um, but I was already playing out. Like I, I, my first recital I was four. And then I took up cello. I was doing a lot of orchestra stuff at a young age. Um, but in terms of going out in front of people and singing, I auditioned for high school performing arts for classical singing and for cello. I was a double major for cello and, and singing. Um, and then I started hitting clubs when I was 15, 16. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't I don't really look at it as like like getting a record deal is a big break. Or getting a manager is a big break. I think the biggest break is when you just figure out what the fuck you want to do and you do it. And if you get an applause from it, awesome. If you get no applause from it, awesome. Because you're doing what you love to do, and that's the gift. That's what God, I think, wants for all of us, is to find all these different beautiful gifts that we're all given, and just give it a shot. And if we never make a dime from it, fuck it. Like, you get to do it. You get to wake up and do it, and that's the gift, you know? I have to think that way. You know? Yeah. So, I know. <laughs> yeah, so I think my biggest break was when I was four, and I just... I started playing and loved it. Yeah. The rest of it doesn't really. You know? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Well, we have some. It's not a question. We have a little thing to do. One of us will write something that was. He's a king of love. Some of us are sitting here. Yeah, you know, this is going to go up on my wall in the piano room. And when I'm feeling sad, I'm going to go sit in front of it and read it. 
but I just feel like this, this fucking thing, it won't let me. But what I promise him in the song is that no matter what I am, I will never stop working and praying and going to therapy and taking my meds so I can <coughs> give him a little bit what a lot he really deserves. So the song is called Mechanical Heart. He's spoiled. <laughs> he's got a cut for a wife, but he still gets a lot of music written for him. <laughs>
from a lot. So, on the new record. But all the people are making noise down there. So that they can hear it. That is fine. The doors are good. Alright. Oh, they died and said, I'm sorry that I never did. Thank you for your precious time. I can feel my body.